Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Prison Architect. Let's continue where we left off, which was trying to get this thing going. Um, we look for the common room. Oh, it was right there. It's highlighted. Well, you know, what are you going to do? So this is going to be the common room. We want this to be the common room, that to be visitation, and we need a pool table and at least five phone booths. So, we're getting, like I said, getting right back into it. Not even going to stop. Um, let's go ahead and pop this sucker all the way out. So we need a pool table... And at least five phone booths. Well, let's get the uh, let's get the phone booths up and running. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Nice and easy for everybody. That's what they need. Uh, let's go. Ahead. That's a visitor's table, pool table. Let's get a pool table. Now, do we need the pool table? We'll do like a couple pool tables there and there. Perfect. Yeah, we got it done. Awesome. So now visitation can happen. Yay! Everybody can get visited. Hooray! Also, apparently there's solitary doors. That's what some people were saying, um, which is always useful, obviously. Uh, let's see, where is solitary doors? Under rooms? No. Under objects? Probably. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be under here somewhere. Let's take a look. Bench? No. Solitary doors. Ah! Well, jail doors are working, I think, just as well. They can see out that way, which is nice for them. Uh, so let's see, they got hygiene going on. Are people still bitching? Nope, danger level is nice and low. That's good. Glad to see that. Uh, we're still making $262 a day, and now what we need is to get some health and uh, well-being under construction. So that's going to be our next big build, is going to be the health and well-being situation. So let's go ahead and start looking at that. Um, first and foremost, I need to see, as far as uh, medical is concerned, what do we need to make it, um, to make it a room? What does it need to be? Indoors, medical bed. So it just needs to be indoor and have a medical bed. All right, nice and easy. It actually doesn't need to be that big at all. So let's go ahead and actually just plop one down. Um, we'll go ahead and put a building down like here. Actually, I don't want... I want it like so. Nice and even sized. Does that look good? I could probably just do a 10, but 15 by 15 makes it nice and square. So at the very least, we'll get that going. And we'll get that medical thing up and running. I'm curious to see what kind of visitors we're going to end up getting. Hopefully we get some good ones. Hopefully we'll get some visitors rather soon, rather. Um, get everybody running around. Is that them being angry? I can't even tell. It's bedtime, guys. Go to sleep. You're going to get your visitors eventually. Well, that didn't exactly go the way I was expecting it to. Um, brick wall. Brick wall. Please and thank you. So let's get that going. Put that brick wall back up and running. How many how many workers do we have? We must have quite a lot at this point. Let's go ahead and drop an infirmary down here as soon as we can. So this is going to be the infirmary. And we just need medical beds. Easy enough. Objects. Pop that sucker wide open. Medical beds. So for people who get hurt. Um, right, we got four down there. Now, do I do I need to hire a doctor? Hundred dollars per day. Done. What does this need? It needs a medical bed still. Not a big deal. They got it coming. There we go. Done. Perfect. Doctor. So we got a doctor. Oh, we need two doctors. Okay. Well, two doctors. We can pull that one off. And let's actually get some more medical beds then, if that's what we're going to do. Uh, so the injured guys actually can go in here now. That's useful. Um, let's go ahead and uh, cram in as many as we can, I guess, for now. Whoa, what was that noise? Is there, like, a fight going on? I hope not. But we're going to have doctors all kind of in here, so that's good. And then we can actually probably make another um, another area in here. Should be pretty easy. One of the other things I want to do is make a, I think, like, what do you call it? Uh, a staff room. Prison maintenance. Oops, I clicked on it. I meant to see, what is it? Unlocks groundskeeping. Unlock maintenance, groundskeeping. Hire at least two janitors, so we need one more janitor. Go ahead and plop one more down. And how much we're still making money. Unlock groundskeeping through bureaucracy. So that's one thing we're going to work on is groundskeeping. 
It's going to be groundskeeping right there. $2,000, no biggie. And we'll hire a gardener afterwards just to get that, just to get maintenance underway. So we'll obviously add more and more beds in here as we need it. But for now, that's going to work just fine the way it is. We should maybe think about getting and taking in some more prisoners, but I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. I don't think I am. Um, so let's keep going. I think what I'm going to end up doing is popping a, uh, a, what do you call it up here? So this is going to be storage, but I want, I want like, um, uh, what do you call it? Shit. Come on. Staff room. Staff room. So minimum five, so four by four with a uh, sofa chair double and a drink machine. That's what they need. So let's go ahead and pop that up here. And uh, I guess... I guess the way I want to do this is like this? No. I don't want the holding cell either. Could do 10 by 10. I'm going to actually do it like this. Well, it only needs to be 4 by 4, so... I guess what we'll do is just plop it down here. Just like that. Nice and easy. Actually, you know what? Eh, eh, eh. Sorry. Let's try that again. Uh, I'll do it over here. Kind of slap it on the side. Like so. Alright. Get that all done. As soon as they're done, anyway. Put a door there. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know what they're waiting for, but it's probably these slow pokes. Anytime you guys want to finish this, that would be awesome. So let's go ahead and put a staff room in here. Uh, double, let's see, sofa chair double and a drink machine. So the sofa chair wide. So what do we need, like two? And a drink machine. Let's go ahead and get some utilities running on down this way. We can actually go ahead and do it like so. That should be more than enough. And we might actually need to run some... No, just electricity should be fine. But the staff room... So everybody's... Just, do they just, like, rest up in here, like, super quick? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me. So, the next thing we're gonna need is a, um... Higher psychologist requires an office for them. So, obviously, what we're gonna need is another... It goes, what? Six by six... So like that, we'll go ahead and slap down another staff room door, and we'll make that another office. We're just going to make a stretch of offices down this way, I think is the best and easiest way for us to do it. And of course we need to put some more brick walls down, I'm probably doing this incredibly dumbly, but whatever, it works. Uh, office, 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 where are you? I can't, there you are. And then, obviously, our objects. The huge. Okay. Okay. And a chair. And we'll give it to her. Which requires... Hire a psychologist. Do I need to unlock this, probably? Mental health. Only $500. That'll be hers when it's ready. The psychologist when it's ready. So. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, staff members are exhausted. Well, they have a they have a room. They can actually just go there. Right? Sounds right to me. Still haven't demolished this. I'm curious as to why. And we have no level of danger going on at all right now, which is awesome. All right. Well, I guess the next step is going to take in more prisoners. So let's go ahead and take in uh, the next chunk of prisoners. Um, at the same time, obviously, what I'm going to want is to build a couple more uh, eating things. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, so we want more tables. We'll go ahead and slap down a bunch more. Whoa, oh, it's auto-saving. Got it. A couple of those, and of course, just some benches for them to sit on. There we go. 
Perfect. Get those going. How's this uh, research? Mental health research is almost done. How many guards do I have? How? How? I need more prisoners. The prisoners will increase my cash flow. Four total guards. Three of them are available. We're going to need more guards soon. Um, I'm going to wait for the prisoners to show up. We have 11 hours before they're here. And it sounds like our research is done. So we can hire ourselves a psychologist, which is going to give us $3 a day. No more of that. We don't really have the money for it anymore, so we're going to have to wait. Now, two prisoners have serious complaints. I'm curious what those complaints are. You want some... Well, you have shower time when it's shower time. All right? Chill out. For now, it is what it is. Now, what we could do here? I'm curious. What could we fit in here? I feel like we could do something down the middle over here. Something could work. I just don't know what it would be. Could we... Let's go to planning for a second. And see if we could do... They need a 2x3 wide, right? We could maybe put more cells in here. It looks like we could fit more cells. These would be bigger cells. These would be like the pristine cells of the area. We could also do something else with them. Hmm. Hmm. And then obviously doors. What could we do with this? More people could fit in there. Or we could do things like, let's actually go ahead back to planning. And maybe we'll, uh... Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah. Can we just get rid of it? There we go. Planning. So, I wonder. This needs to be two wide, three long. So that's actually as long as I can make it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two... Nah, it wouldn't fit. I was curious. I wonder if I I was wondering if I could do anything. We might actually get rid of the solitary. We might be able to actually. I'm just trying to see how efficient I can actually make this jail here. That would be a tight fit. Hmm. Ah, uh, see, no, it, just, it doesn't look good. Uh, the things I could do. I, I, we're going to have to do something. We could just do something straight up down here. This could be like shower zone or whatever. We do it like this, obviously. But uh, in order to do anything with it, they'd have to go through here. Hmm. Then again, solitary could be moved. We could easily move it somewhere else. Huh. Interesting, interesting. I don't know. This is really big for a fucking common room. I build big. That's the problem. I think that's my biggest problem playing these types of games. I build, like, incredibly large. Could you just not stand there and just move? Like, I feel like he was stuck or something. What is? What was he doing in there? They have to come all the way down this way, huh, to get to that staff room. Kind of out of the way, but they rest really quickly, which is nice. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel like getting rid of this and making a solitary elsewhere might be better. We could turn this holding cell area into solitary. We don't really need a holding cell anymore, do we? I also, what's the purpose of taking um, max versus minimal security? I feel like maximum security guys would probably provide us with more money. I feel like that would be what the benefit is. But at the same time, is it worth the benefit? I don't know. I do not know. And why is this still here? Seriously. Can we please demolish that? I don't understand why they won't do it. Get rid of all that. I just want to demolish that. That's all I want. Maybe that's the reason. Try again. Let's see if that works. I like how these guys in the storage room are just chilling. That is like, eh, hey, what else? Chill the storage room is where they want to go. I really don't know what I could do with this.
feel like the only thing I could possibly do is this. This would work. I mean, it wouldn't look pretty, but it would work. We'd have to get rid of this entire area. Solitary would have to be redefined. But we could fit more people in here. Hmm. Might be worth it. I'm sure for a lot of people it is. We'd, re we'd move the solitary area. So we could build over to make this a bit more... We could cram more people in it, essentially. And we'd do the same thing over here, obviously. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you know what I want? I need to put down uh, metal detectors. Just so in case people think sneaking in their loved ones is a good idea. And they know that it's not. I'll wait for the utilities to pop, though. I think all I gotta do is drag it straight to it. Like so. But I don't want them to do any of that. I think that's a good idea. I really do. So we got our first batch of prisoners. Let's go ahead and um, wait for them. Let's close this down. We got a bunch more. We're making a lot more money now. I think we're going to want to hire more guards. I really do. So let's pop down. A couple more guards. Going to want to start bringing them all in. Are they getting brought to cells? It looks like they are. A lot of walking for everybody. Yeah, a hacksaw? Really, dude? You had a hacksaw? Spoon? What are you going to do? Dig yourself out of here? Oh. We might turn this into another showering zone, honestly. These two dudes not even thinking about leaving. Welcome, Tom Mitchell and Sean Trish. Alright, more money. Mo money, no problems. Welcome, everybody, to your new fucking prison. Hello, hello. We're making tons of cashola now. Alright, well, this is gonna how it's gonna be. Let's dismantle all this. Let's turn this into the shower room, I guess. I don't really want... any of this... in here for now. We'll get another shower going for everybody. If I can find it, obviously, because I'm fucking blind. Guys, I can't see it. There it is. Jesus. Shower! Let's go ahead and plop down. Let's get pause it, and let's get everything that we need down. So. It's going to be another entryway, obviously, there. And then, um... We'll start running... Well, we've got utilities running through it, obviously, so we, we could just pop down a shower head over there. We'll put more in as we need it, obviously. Um, so let's get some more shower heads going. Well, maybe we'll, you know, we'll even put another couple over here. Just to get it all down. And I'll wait for it all to get put in, obviously, before I worry about it. Let's actually lock this open. So people can get in nice and easily. So let's go ahead and plop it all in. Good, good, good. What do we got? Three prisoners say they are well treated. Two prisoners have serious complaints. Two prisoners are suppressed. One prisoner has been unnecessarily searched recently. Can it show me who? And why? Look at all those prisoners. So many of them. Chow down, fatties. Let's get another cook. I feel like taking in another person is going to mean we're going to need more cooks. Maybe another stove. Another cook cook in another fridge auto saving just get those in there help everybody out make sure everybody's got food everybody's happy I'm telling you running a nice little place here so visitations all the way the fuck over here I'm trying to think of maybe there's a better way to do visitation 
I'm going to want to start looking into running a fence all across this area, too, so there's nobody can run away. But visitation all the way over here, mm, it's a bit much. Oh, we need a gardener. We don't have one yet. Welcome, buddy. So we got our grant in. Excellent. I don't know what he can even do, but hey, whatever. Bring it in. Let's take a look into other research. Um, clone. Let's get clone being researched. Let's get uh, tax relief getting researched. Let's get contraband. Patrols allows you to define patrols around crucial areas. Prison policy unlocks the policy report allowing you to increase and decrease the punishments for all types of misconduct. That could be good. Or armory. Well, we're not really worried about that. Let's, um, prison policy? Patrols? Patrols sounds useful. Let's just blow some money on stuff. No one sne Oh, shit. You know what we need? Metal detectors over here. Whoopsie! I wonder why it only does it like that. Let's go ahead and do it. It's fine. And then, obviously... Get all that powered up. Oh, look at him. He's doing his own thing. We're also going to want to get some exercise things out in the yard, too, very shortly. We don't trust you. I'm just all there as simple as that. We just don't trust you guys. I'm sorry. See? Look at that. Alright, well, maybe nothing happened there. Hmm. People are hungry. Food's getting cooked. Why does he not have any... Do we need to bring large pipes down this way? Maybe that's what I need to do. Bring some large pipes down first. Oops. My fault. What's going on? Six prisoners have serious complaints. One prisoner has been unnecessarily searched recently. Okay. Well, sorry. I do not know what to tell you, sir. Let's get that down. More large pipes for everybody. There we go. Now we got showers running for everybody. What's going on? Okay. I don't know why. Oh, God. See, you're setting off metal detectors. And you're going to get in trouble. De la Puenqueto Huerta Pepino. You, dude, you sound like a crime. A scientist turned supervillain. He, te he terrorized suburban Algeria with his evil baboon assistant, El Cuyo Rojo. The red butt, I'm assuming. His most f infamous feats came in the form and excessive use of his male pregnancy ray and oxygen to fart converter. <laughs> Violent disorder. Uh, hopefully nobody's fighting. Dude, you can do whatever you want. Go to bed. So I'm thinking of moving the visitation room. I just don't know where to put it. I feel like moving it is the best bet. I just don't know where I would move it. Um, I also would definitely want to build a fence around. I'll take a look and see what you guys say. I feel like I've locked myself into a weird spot, but... Uh, actually, you know what? I could actually build out this way. That could be easy. could build out this way. And uh, we'll come out this way. But I still want to get rid of this. How? What? Are you shitting me right now? Seriously, guys? Stop it with your shenanigans. Are you guys not going to lock this? This is Every door is staying open for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, well. Looks like they're uh, totally all right with it. Oh, there it is. Door's all locked. All right, well, let's wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, I'm still not dead yet. I know I have failure conditions turned off, but for the most part, everybody's happy. Um, I'm going to kind of plan, I think, before next episode where I want to start building next. Uh, I feel like Visitation Room needs to be dismantled. I feel like this is kind of a waste. Then again, I could build out if I really want to, and we might do that. So thank you guys again for watching. If you're enjoying it, come back tomorrow for some more Daily Prison Architect, and consider leaving a like. It helps me out a great deal, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.